In Informatica Developer, create a lookup transformation when you want to look up data in a lookup source, such as a flat file or relational table. In the lookup transformation, you specify a lookup condition to determine which rows to retrieve from the lookup source. In this demo, we will create a lookup transformation that looks up whether each customer placed an order. We will create the lookup based on the sales transactions flat file data object. The sales transactions flat file data object contains all orders placed by customers. We will add the lookup transformation to a mapping that we have already created in the sales project. The mapping is already open in the editor. The mapping contains a source. The source is a flat file that contains a list of customers. In the object explorer view, drag the sales transactions data object into the editor. Next, select lookup and then click OK. The lookup transformation appears in the editor. Multiple tabs appear in the properties view. Each tab contains different properties about the lookup transformation. On the general tab, let's rename the lookup transformation to be more descriptive and to use the Informatica naming convention. Informatica naming convention guidelines use the LKP prefix. You can also add a description. Notice that the general tab includes a link to the flat file data object used in this lookup. You can click the link to the data object to open it in the editor. Next, you can configure which rows the lookup transformation returns when it finds multiple rows that match the lookup condition. In this demo, we only want to know if each customer placed at least one order. As a result, we leave the default option, return any row. Now, we need to create the input port of the lookup transformation. To create the input port, drag the customer ID port from the source to source ports in the lookup transformation. The port is automatically linked. By default, when you drag a port into a transformation, the port is an input and output port, also known as a pass-through port. Next, we need to enter a lookup condition. Click the lookup tab. Next, click new to enter a lookup condition. The developer tool infers the lookup condition based on the column and port definitions. The lookup condition contains the customer number lookup column and the customer ID source port. Now we can use the data viewer view to preview the results of the lookup transformation. Preview the lookup transformation to ensure that the data is processed as expected. Click run to preview the data. The data integration service reads the data and it displays the output in the data viewer view. If the data integration service finds an order in the lookup file, the data integration service returns the customer number to the customer number column. Notice that the customer number is null for some customers. These customers do not have any orders in the lookup file. The data looks correct. After you look up the data, you might want to continue processing the data before you write it to the target. For example, you might use an update strategy transformation to update the target with the customers who have placed orders. or you might pass the active customers to one target and inactive customers to another. The developer tool includes a cheat sheet that explains how to perform a lookup. Click Help, Cheat Sheets, and then select the cheat sheet called Lookup Data from a Source. That completes this demo. To summarize, we added a lookup transformation to a mapping and then previewed the results of the lookup transformation. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.